All right, let's start by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Bahakadash. That's Yahweh, being the true name of our Heavenly Father in Hebrew, in the name of Yahweh Shai, who is our Lord and Savior, and Rukakadash, which is the Holy Spirit. Double honors to the elders and apostles, the great millstone, for teaching us this truth. Honors to the brothers that's pushing this truth, risking their life and freedom to do so. Shalom to the hopeful elect. The one third of our people who's returning back to the Lord during these last days so that he have mercy on them in the time of judgment. So he's coming back with another lesson through the power of the Holy Spirit. And this lesson here is going to be titled Follow the Rich White Man. And I got a clip from Rush Hour 2 that we're going to play uh, for those who might not remember the movie all the way. But this clip always made me laugh and just listen to teachings over the past couple years it made me think of this scene in the movie for what uh chris tucker about to say so let's listen to it real quick lee let me introduce you to carter's theory of criminal investigation follow the rich white man you heard what he said his his uh theory of criminal criminal investigation follow the rich white man so when you want to investigate something any crime anywhere in the earth, follow the rich white man. Now let's continue. Follow the rich white man. Exactly. Now you're learning. Every big crime has a rich white man behind it waiting for his cut. Now in our case, we know who the rich white man is. Stephen Rain. Who? Stephen Rain, the hotel billionaire. I saw him on Rick Tan's boat. When the shooting started, he was way too cool. Now, I'm going to tell you something. When people start shooting, white people ain't that cool. They either running around, hiding behind tables, or screaming like, ah! So, yeah, that was a little funny, but what he say? He say, uh, every rich white man, um, every crime got a rich white man somewhere waiting to get his cut. And that's actually scriptural. That's in the scriptures. And we would make that our first scripture. And that's why when we come to Ecclesiasticus 12 and 17, if adversity come upon thee, thou shalt find him there first. And though he pretend to help thee, he shall undermine thee. So yeah, anywhere in the earth, when there's adversity, Esau was there. When the Native Americans started going missing, when they started going extinct, when their population started dropping, who was there? It was Esau, these folks here. When we got rounded up into them slave ships over there in the west coast of Africa, brought here to America, who was in both them places? It was Esau, the white man. When George Floyd got killed uh, by suffocating, who could you find there first? It was Esau, the white man. When the Twin Towers got knocked down, who was there? Esau, the white man. You know, George Bush and his folk. They weren't on the scene, but they were somewhere hiding. This whole sickness that started in 2020, it was a rich white man behind it. Who got rich from it? Bill Gates. So yeah, if adversity come a bondy, thou shall find him there first. Think about all the so-called Negroes and Mexicans that got harassed by the police, they got wrongfully thrown in jail or prison, and they wrongfully got handed life sentences, double life sentences, 20 to 35 years. Who was there? It was Esau, the so-called white man. So any major issue in the world dealing with destruction, death, wickedness, oppression, you shall find him there first, this man here. So again, if adversity come upon thee, thou shalt find him there first. And though he pretend to help thee, yet he shall undermine me. Because let's, let's listen to this clip again. Lee, let me introduce you to Carter's theory of criminal investigation. Follow the rich white man. Follow the rich white man? Exactly. Now you're learning. Every big crime has a rich white man behind it waiting for his cut. Now, in our case, we know who the rich white man is. Stephen Rain. Who? Stephen Rain, the hotel billionaire. I saw him on Rick Tan's boat. When the shooting started, he was way too cool. So, yeah, what he say? He said every big crime got a, a rich white man waiting to get his cut. And one of the rappers said that for every fortune that is made a crime is committed in other words that's fraud 
So a fortune is a big amount of money. He said everybody in the world, celebrities, he said for every fortune that is made, a crime is committed. Then he went on to say, you don't even want to know what I did to make my first million. He pretty much said he was embarrassed to tell the world what he did. So yeah, everything somewhere, a rich white man gonna benefit from it or he gonna get paid from it. And one of my coworkers at work at Edomite, uh, he was in the Air Force. And one thing he told he was he told me a few quotes that they that they go by. And this one here was if you don't have the answer to a problem, you could make a lot of money by keeping the problem going. Something like that. So again, if you don't have the answer, if you don't have the solution to a problem, you can make a lot of money and keeping it going. So the white man Esau, he likes to create adversity in the world and use it to his own benefit so that he'll get paid from it. The sickness in 2020, who got rich off that? Uh, big, uh, the, the, pharma, the pharmaceutical industry, Bill Gates, these elites, they got rich off that. Um, So-called war on terror in the Middle East, George Bush, all uh, his people and people who invest in oil, they got rich from all the oil they stole from Osama and them. So yeah, they create adversity, they create a problem, and they keep that problem going to make money off of it. That's why the sickness in 2020 went so went on for so long. That's why the war in the Middle East went on for so long. That's why this stuff been going on in Ukraine is dragging out. Every issue, every major world issue, every major issue in the world, Esau made money from it. Like one of their biggest, um, like when they had these world wars, hey, Esau make big bank off that. So again, if adversity come upon thee, thou shalt find him there first. And though he pretend to help thee, yet he shall undermine thee. And let's go back to the video. Tell you something, when people start shooting, white people ain't that cool. They either running around, hiding behind tables. Yeah, then that's another thing he said. He said, when pretty much when stuff go down, white people ain't that cool. And that's going to take us to our next scripture. Psalms 55 and 21. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. His words were softer than oil, yet they were drawn swords. And that lines up with Ecclesiastes 12 and 17 over here. And though he pretend to help thee, yet he shall undermine thee. Because with George Bush, he said, we're going to keep America safe. We're going to fight this war on terror. He making it seem like he helping you. But he was really over there stealing up stuff. Bill Gates, he said, yeah, we're going to help people. We're going to give them this medicine. And look, all these people effed up from it. Dropping dead, losing their soul. Don't believe in the most high no more. So he shall pretend to help thee, yet he shall undermine thee, meaning he's going to sabotage you or destroy you or hurt you. And this is progressive because it's going to seem like he's helping you at the surface. But when you dig deep, you see that he's setting you up for failure. And that's why I said the words of his mouth were smoother than butter. George Bush, Sloppy Joe, Bill Snakes, they say smooth things, but war is in our heart. Like the video I did yesterday, that Esau is as death. Bill Gates talking about, what do he say? If the population keep growing, we might lose food. He said population growth is scary. So he's trying to make it seem like he wants you and your love wants to have some food, but really he's trying to decrease the population. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. His words were softer than oil, yet they were drawn swords. So even the nice things Esau say, that's him taking shots at you, taking shots at you. He calling you out. He poking at you. And that's why when we go to Psalms 10 and 7, his mouth is full of cursing and deceit and fraud. Like the rapper, he said for every fortune that is made, a crime was committed because they are frauds. Under his tongue is mischief and vanity. Yeah, because Esau, the white man, is full of cursing. Every, everything they talk about is about death, and it's to benefit them. 
and they make it sound like they're trying to help you, they full of deceit. They frauds. You think he a savior. You thought George Bush was your protector. You think you thought y'all thought Joe Biden was gonna save y'all from white supremacy. Bill Snakes, you thought he was protecting you, keeping you healthy. They frauds. And to prove it, Bill Gates, he a computer geek. He don't know nothing about the medical industry. He don't know nothing about the human body. And he y'all taking his medicine. He a fraud. Under his tongue is Miss Chief of Vanity. And under his tongue, meaning that the words that come off the tip of his tongue, you got to look under what he's saying. Because once you look under his words, under his tongue is mischief and vanity. Because this mischief and vanity that comes out when he speaks is covered up by smooth words. It's covered up by soft words. But when you look under those words, you see he full of mischief and vanity. And that's why, like in the lesson I did yesterday, what did Bill Gates say? He said, keeping children alive is a problem for the population. Them two things don't even go together. Keeping children alive, that's good. But he said it's a problem for the population. Is you, you trying to help the people or hurt the people? That's Esau for you because his mouth is full of cursing and deceit and fraud. Under his tongue is mischief and vanity. And that's Esau on all levels. Your elites, uh, the military, your low-level white trash Edomites at work. That's them. So our last scripture is going to be 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 19. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness with Yahweh. And who is the inhabitants of the world? Of course, all the other nations, but this is ultimately talking about Esau. For the wisdom of Esau is foolishness with Yahweh. Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai. Because the planet Earth starting with America and all the other countries, uh, they operate off the wisdom of America. That's why it's fast food everywhere. That's why McDonald's is all over the world. Every country you go to, they got street lights, stop signs, just all kind of stuff. They they cutting down the trees. That's the wisdom of Esau. And this, and this foolishness with the Most High, for it is written, and this is the New Testament we read, and it says, for it is written. So this, and this was previously written in the Old Testament. So this shows that the New Testament is built off the Old Testament. The New Testament wouldn't exist without the Old Testament. So the Old Testament is just as relevant as the New. For it is written, written in the Old. He take up the wise in their own craftiness. Yeah, and who would be the wise of this world? It would be Esau. They go all over the world sneaking and doing stuff because they crafty people. They crafty, cunning, deceptive devils. And that's why it says he take up the wise in their own craftiness. Think about George Bush. He over there for 20 years, bombing the Middle East, not realizing everywhere that they go, they making enemies. That's the Lord taking Esau his own craftiness. Yeah, George Bush might have bombed those people, but guess what? All those countries that they bombed, they allies with Russia. And they're going to come back for America with Russia uh, leading the charge. So Russia and all those Middle Eastern countries, they're going to come back and destroy America. That's Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai taking the wise in their own craftiness. And let's see what else. Uh, like how Esau developed all this technology. And what did, what he did what did he uh develop the technology for? To watch us, to spy on us, to stalk us. But the Lord took him in his own craftiness because that own they own technology that they use to stalk us, we using it against him. We exposing him. Thanks to the internet, cell phones, cameras, laptops, computers, electronic uh and Wi Fi. He been exposed before the whole world. Every time a Negro gets shot. Every time some police brutality happen, every time it's a mass shooting. Now the whole world know that Esau is the main mass shooter. As something gets shot up and a bunch of people die, it was probably Esau. And that's why it reads, if adversity come upon thee, thou shalt find him there first. And though he pretend to help thee, yet he shall undermine thee. 
And now, I'm looking, now that I'm looking back at the scripture, if adversity come upon thee, adversity is trouble, chaos, a disaster, it's a crime scene. So if a crime happen, thou shalt find him there first. Meaning at the, at the scene of the crime, you're going to find Esau there. Like us getting hung, us getting shot, mass shootings, you most likely find Esau there. And that's why it reads, he take up the wise in his own craftiness. And because Esau is always on the crime scene, that's why we see thou shalt find him there first. Meaning Esau is always on the crime scene. That's the Lord taking him in his own craftiness just for Esau being there. Because Esau being there, pretending to help the situation, pretending to help the people. But after some time passed and people keep digging and researching, you're going you gonna to go through your list of suspects. you be like, it was them. Like, nah, it was this one. Nah, it was this one. Then you're going to go through your whole list. And you're going to finally come back to Esau. You'd be like, you, you know what? It was Esau. He was there this whole time. That's why it reads, if adversity come upon thee, thou shalt find him there first. And because Esau was there, that's going to lead him to the crime eventually. That's why it says he take up the wise and their own craftiness. Because Esau, the type of idiot, a commit a crime and like to cover it with the news. He had fake witnesses, fake testimonies. You know what I'm saying? And take pictures and stuff. But all that stuff usually come back upon them. Because we find out all that stuff be fake. So yeah, remember, follow the rich white man. And let's, let's talk a little more stuff. Why, why the reason Yahweh Shai was painted into a white man? Who was on the scene of that crime? It was Esau. Us not knowing we the Lord's chosen people. Who was responsible for that? It was Esau. Who was beating us in the church, making us forget the true understanding of the Bible? It was Esau. When your kids get took from you, who you find there first? It's Esau. If you or somebody you know died from a medical mistake in the hospital, who you find there first? It's Esau. And who killed you, how was shy? The white man Esau the Romans. He was there. And Jacob's trouble, when we being taken and through to these FEMA death camps, they're trying to force you to get their technology put inside your body. Who gonna be there first? Esau. If adversity come upon thee, thou shalt find him there first. So every major issue in the world goes back to Esau. He is the root of the problem. But that's it for this lesson here. Until next time, Shalom.